Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So, I'm finally going to sit down and do the questions and answers video and do the answer segment of it. Um, it's been a little, really, like, I asked you guys this a while ago, and then I said I was going to, like, follow it up a week later, and then life got to me and everything. So, didn't actually get around to filming the answer video when I wanted to, um, but... I did actually, am sitting down now to do it. So, um, I'm going to start with Instagram. Instagram, some people commented it. I got a couple um, via message, like Instagram message, and then a couple on like other posts. So, um, Celebrity Perfume Lover says, would you, would you like to do some feature videos with other perfume reviewers on YouTube? I would love to do that. Um, it's always kind of, been kind of a thing to do. I would love to do a collab video. Um... I mean, a while back I did that rainbow perfume tag where I got a couple of the other Celebrity Perfume Lover perfume. Like, I don't know if Celebrity Perfume Lover did it or not, but I know that Minnie Molly did the uh, rainbow perfume tag and some other people did the rainbow perfume tag. Um, so, I would love to do a collab video. Um, there's other YouTubers who necessarily aren't perfume reviewers who I would love to do collabs with. And I think just as a YouTuber, that's kind of a common thing. And can I say something in French, and, and you love how I say things in French. Well, thank you. I can't say, like, anything in French, like, besides, like, eau de parfum and eau de, par or eau de toilette, which are, like, your normal, like, perfume and whatever. Um, bonjour, I guess, is, like, the only thing I can say in French, and I'm totally probably butchered that as it was. So, um, Benton Lovett said, if you could pick any celebrity to create a perfume that hasn't yet, who would it be and why? Honestly, if I had to pick, there's a couple different people, but the one that really kind of stands out in my mind is Miley Cyrus. Um, and I think the other one would be Demi Lovato. And my reasoning behind Miley Cyrus is she is such a quirky and fun personality that's very different from anything um, out. I mean, she's she's always been her own unique person. And similar to how Gaga is unique in her own way, Miley is unique in her own way. And I would love to see Miley's interpretation of a fragrance. Do I think it would be something super raunchy? No, I actually think Miley would surprise us. But I would love to see Miley's interpretation of a fragrance. Um, and then Demi Lovato, I just think with her, that she kind of puts off this girl power. Um, and just this, the persona that she puts off is so headstrong. I would love to see what she could create. Um on her side, because I feel like she wouldn't do your normal feminine fruity floral. I feel like she would do something a lot different. Um, how do I go through... This is another person. This is Jesus Soliage. If I butchered near your name, I'm totally sorry. Um, how do I go through my perfume collection without it going bad? I have so many bottles, and I'm sure I have a method of going through them before, but I have so many. So... The method I do is I, if I have multiple bottles of something, I won't use the multiple, like, I won't, um, open more than one bottle, if that makes sense. Like, I try to keep one open that I spray. But, um, the key to perfume is, unless it has an automizer, so, like, I don't know if I have any, like, within reach, that are automizers, if it has an automizer, if that goes bad, like, It'll start going bad the moment it, um, like, the moment it's exposed to air. But with, like, the normal sprayer, those don't go bad as fast if there's two major things with fragrances, and this is, like, everyone will tell you this, but they are 100% true. Direct sunlight and heat. This perfume, my perfume room is one of the coldest rooms in the house. It is always just about 60 degrees in here. Even in the winter, it's 60 degrees in here. Um... And the air is a cold air. It's not a hot air. So, like, even in the summer or in the winter, it's a cold air that's in here. And there are windows. Like, back here, there are windows. Um, but the bookcase is completely covered. And there's stuff over the windows to cover them to block out any transparent heat or anything like that to come through. Um, but even in the winter, every now and again, I will, like, slide a bookcase out and open up the window so that it stays cold in here. In the winter, it sucks to do film, you know, reviews and stuff in here because it is so cold. In the summer, it's nice because it is cooler. Um, but this room, if I were to shut my lights off, 
it is black in here. Like, you cannot see anything in here um, at all. Like, it is straight up black in here. I don't know if I've ever actually shown you guys how black it is in here. So, I will show you real quick. Sorry, my entire room is controlled by this light. So besides like my rope lights in here, if I shut off my filming light and I shut off this light, it gets really, really dark in here besides like my rope lights, which I can shut those off too. Um, so now, as you can tell, besides like the one rope light that's still on, it's black in here. And you, like, when all the lights are off in here, you cannot see shit in here. Day, night, or whatever, it is ridiculous. It's actually, like, in the middle of the day right now, and you guys couldn't even tell. So, let's turn the lights back on. So, next question. Um, what is my most hated perfume and why? Also, is there any collections that I regret collecting? And that's from Gregor. So... My most hated perfume of all time, and I've actually said this, is um, Jessica Simpson's Fancy Nights. The only reason I have that fragrance is because it completes the Fancy Collection. And I, I got that perfume for stupid cheap. So, I... That. Um, anything I regret collecting... Not really. There isn't a really a collection that, like bothers me that I've ever collected. There's some fragrances in here I could live without, I guess. I guess if I had to pick a collection that I regret collecting, it would be the Peter and Alice collection. And the only reason why is because I don't really like any of those five fragrances. Grin, I got them for like, I think under $10 for all five of them. So I don't really regret it. Um, and they have a connection to me friend-wise, hence to why I still have them, but I just am not a huge fan of any of the five of them. It's not like one of them I'm absolutely in love with, so I guess if I had a pick, it would be that. Um, Pretty Posh for You says, what's the one perfume you never got and is not available anymore? This one, literally, I've thought about and thought about to think if there's any other perfume besides the one that was in my mind that it was, and it is literally... The other three Kat Von D fragrances. So I have the one, which is Poetica. And I still need Saint, I still need Sinner, and I still need Adora. All three are super hard to get um, without spending a shit ton of money. I know that they're re-releasing Saint, they're re-releasing Sinner. And I would really, 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 really like to get Adora, Saint, and Sinner before um, the re-releases come out. But, I mean, this is, like, the one thing I wish I would have gotten. It's not available anymore. And if I would have remembered that Kat Von... Like, when I first started collecting, I probably could have got them easier than I can now. It's just happening to find them on a, any website that sells fragrances at the right time to get them. So, that would be the Kat Von V fragrances. And last question on just the comments on Instagram is, do I have insurance on my collection? So, yes. Um, I don't know how much you guys know about homeowners and stuff like that if you can have um homeowners insurance on your home um so that if anything would ever happen to your house it is insured this particular room actually has its own insurance um that is completely separate and my collection last time i because you had to get it reevaluated all the time um i believe the last time it was reevaluated it was over like almost forty five thousand dollars so yes this room is insured um, there are some things in this collection that are priceless that are really, really hard to get a hold of. Granted, a lot of things they'll just take off of, like, the retail value. Some things are what they're going for online since they are a collector's items. So, there's those. Um, we're gonna go to Instagram messages real quick. Because I know I got another one in Instagram messages. Someone said, what are... Your top two favorite perfumes of all time, and I can't say to anything Taylor Swift. Um, if I had to pick top two straight off, um, 
It would probably honestly be Nicki Minaj's Minaj the Exotic and Viva La Juicy La Fleur. I love, love, love both of those. And, um, those are probably my two favorites. And then the other one, this one is an Instagram message. It was in, um, another, uh, comment someone had said on another thing. And they wanted to know what my top five favorite perfumes are right now. And this is honestly gonna, one of these is gonna come as a surprise to you guys. And it came out as a surprise to me as I started to fall in love with it. So, I would say Minaj Exotic. Viva La Juicy La Fleur. Um, Paris Hilton's Gold Rush. Private Show by Britney Spears. And the fifth one is Rihanna's Crush. I don't know why, but from the time I reviewed that fragrance to now, I'm starting to fall in love with that fragrance. I'm loving it even more than I was when I first got it. It's amazing. I love it. It's been great. Um, yeah. So there's that one. Now... I don't think anyone actually asked any questions on Twitter, so we're just going to hop on to YouTube and read the questions that were asked on the video. So there are, do, 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 I don't even know how many comments. Would I ever consider making a Rue 21 perfume review on my channel or something similar? If it was something you guys enjoyed or requested, definitely. Um, I do own quite a few of the Rue 21 fragrances. And I would definitely, if you guys wanted me to review them, I definitely would. Um, it wouldn't be something I'd be opposed to. I just haven't reviewed them because they are on the lower end and... I have kind of a worldwide audience. I do obviously have, you know, a lot of American followers, but I do have a worldwide audience. I don't always like reviewing something that I know will never be available in another country. Um, I'm not sure if you can even get Rouge 21 perfumes outside of America. So, yes, if I, I'm short down to it, yes, it would be. Um, another person asked quite a, quite a few questions, which I love when you guys ask multiple questions. If I were to make my own fragrance, what would it be called? So, I have so many ideas. Um, I would love to do one called Aurora. I would love to do one called Cosmos. Um, and then there's just so many, like, other little fragrance names that will pop in my head every now and again that I think would be great names for fragrances that necessarily may not fit a celebrity perfume or something. Um, so, yeah, I would love to create my own fragrance, and I have so many. I mean, literally, I could be... If I were to ever create my own fragrance, I could probably pull off, you know, Britney and not not just Britney, Paris Hilton, with the amount of ideas that run through my head. I have so many names and ideas and what fragrances could be and a lot of daring ideas that people don't normally do that I would love, love, love to do. Um, what is the one perfume I want the most? Probably... I can go two ways with this. One would be the Kat Von D fragrances. Um, I would love to complete that collection. But right now, if I were to pick a fragrance I really, really, really want, and this is kind of like a dream perfume, it would be the McQueen Parfum. Um, when that fra fragrance first launched, you know, first got announced, first launched at the beginning of this year, I had my eyes stuck on that bottle. It's just gorgeous, and it's beautiful, and I love the way that it was done. Um... And, I mean, it's very, very different from anything that's ever been done so far, um, packaging-wise and detail-wise. And it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous bottle. And the fragrance sounds like something that I might actually like as a nighttime fragrance. Um, what is one perfume... What... Per, one... Oh, my lord, I cannot talk. What's one perfume you always forgot about and love so much? Um... Honestly, I sometimes forget how much I love, um, I literally just looked at it, now I can't think about it, Justin Bieber's, um, Next Girlfriend. I always forget how much I love that fragrance, and then I go back and wear it again, and I'm like, wow, why didn't I wear this? Um, and then, 
Mariah Carey's Dreams is another one that I always forget how much I love until I go and re-smell it again. Um, what it, which perfume, which celebrity do you think has created the strongest line of perfumes? Now, I don't know what you mean by this. If you mean, like, strongest smelling wise, um, and I would say strongest smelling wise would probably be Beyonce because they're all, a lot of hers are powerhouse fragrances. Um, but strongest, like, brand wise, I would probably say Britney. Only because how many people do you know that could, how many celebrities do you know that could repackage a fragrance? One, two, three, four, five, six, essentially six times, seven times, and sell Buku on it. Um, so I would say Britney is because she's done so many repackages and that her brand is still phenomenally high. Um, which celebrity do you like to see make a perfume? Like I said before, I kind of already answered this question, I would love to see Miley Cyrus or Demi Lovato do a fragrance, just because I think both of those people have um, an untapped talent that hasn't been met. Um, favorite perfume bottle? I'm going to say the Killer Queen line. I can't say, if I were to pick one, it would probably be the Royal Revolution bottle, just because I love the dark blue with the gun metal. But I love that bottle. That's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite bottles. And the this then the second one was favorite perfume box. Honestly, this is kind of hard. I would say either Cheryl Cole's Stormflower, because I love how that comes apart, or the original Britney Spears Fantasy Box, because I like how it's kind of that big trapezoid. Like, not trapezoid, but like how it origami. That's what I was looking for. Um, but if I were to pick a favorite just based on what it is, it would be one of those two. I, I design-wise... Besides, like, if I was going based on design-wise, um, not just, like, the packaging and how it's presented, I would say... Hum, da -dum -dum -dum. This is a hard question if I were to answer it this way. Okay, so camera died in the middle of all that, so I tried to like op, 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 I charged a little bit, so we'll see if I can get through these next ones without dying. So Jesse said, "You have to give up that moment or one or struck enchanted. What would it? Which would it be?" And I would say, honestly, one or struck enchanted, only because I really, really like that moment. And I have less things in my collections that are similar to that moment than that are the similarity to Wonderstruck Enchanted. Um, they both are very, very unique from a lot of things I have in my collection. But Wonderstruck Enchanted, I have things that are closer to Wonderstruck Enchanted than I do um, that moment. Um, Boy Review Fragrances posted a long comment to me, which is the, one of the sweetest comments I've ever, ever gotten. Um, and I just thank you for that comment. Um, and then someone said, silly question, I know, I know, but does th my room have a nice aroma? They know that when they walk into Macy's and a perfume camera, you get all these lovely aromas. So, the thing with perfume counters is you're constantly, you have people constantly spraying fragrances, which does it. Um, I actually have either my candle warmer going in here or a wallflower going in here at all times. So it kind of just, it has an aroma, but it's based on, like, that, um, and not something else. And then someone commented on here and said that they're surprised that Demeter hasn't made a fragrance called Perfume Counter, which I totally agree with, because I think that would be great. Um, two questions. Where do I get my fragrances from? Two people commented it. Um, a lot of times I get them from normal places, HSN, I'll get them from department stores, online, wherever. That's 95, 99.9% .9 of the time that's where I get them from. Um, it's either online or I'll get them as gifts. 
Um, and then if I had to choose one collection to wear for the rest of my life, what would it be? And honestly, I'm kind of torn between this, between the Taylor Swift collection, because I love Taylor Swift so much, and the Nicki Minaj collection. And the only reason I say the Nicki Minaj collection, I love, you know, a lot of her fragrances, and there's such a wide range to them. And I don't think I could give up Minaj the Exotic. So, um, and then someone said, um, that they love my channel so much, and if I were to meet two friends through YouTube, who would they be, and who is my favorite person to swap with, and then One Direction or Taylor Swift. So, um, two friends I would love to meet. I have a lot of people who I would like to meet through YouTube that I've talked with in the past. Um, Melissa, Jesse. why am I blanking on people's names, Donna, there's so many people, and I don't want to, like, go into, like, I don't want to pick two people just because I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings, um, but there's a lot of people I've met through YouTube. Favorite person to swap with, um, I haven't really done a lot of swaps, one person I've done a lot of swaps with was my friend Jessie, and I really enjoyed swapping with her because we have this bond in which we know what each other wants without even thinking about it. And then You and I by One Direction are incredible things by Taylor Swift. Hands down, You and I by One Direction. I love Taylor Swift's collection. I love incredible things, but it's just different from anything else I have in my collection, and it's not something I normally gravitate toward. I gravitate more toward You and I because it's that kind of crisp, clean, pretty, effervescent versus, like, the... I get a very 80s vibe from incredible things, so... There you guys go. There's the answers to my Q&A video. There will be more videos upcoming soon. Um... I have a bunch, like, written down on this little sticky note that I want to get done. So, that'll be happening over the next week or so. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A the S Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye.